Hi, this is Cynthia Ivey, the founder of Harmonic Light Healing Arts. And I know in my last video I said I would talk about the Law of Attraction in my next video, but I changed my mind because I um, became inspired by the students of Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida to talk about indigo children, crystal children, rainbow children, star children, and star seeds. Um, because I feel like they kind of represent that energy um, really well. And um, it's it's been surprising for me to hear that there are people out there who don't believe that these children can be as eloquent and um, wise, um, strong, brave, and direct and clear as they are. But um, I do believe that um, there are a lot of younger people out there who have a great awareness and um, are, are very capable. So I, I wanted to talk about those terms which are used interchangeably um, and just uh, give a little more detail about what each of those um, are, what, what they mean. And again, I get my information from various spiritual teachers um, and leaders that I admire. Um, so basically what um, they all say are that um, starting in the 50s there's been a wave of um, children being born who are helping the planet go through a transition and the transition has to do with going from a type of consciousness where we see ourselves as being separate from each other and separate from God to a unity consciousness um, where we are more aware of our oneness with each other and with with God and um, higher power and um, and these children um, do this in various ways um, from simply being um, an example of this but also they are different from us in more tangible um, physical ways. Their vibration is different and their DNA is different as well. It's gone from a carbon-based DNA to a crystalline structure DNA and they tend to be more telepathic, intuitive, um, clairvoyant and um, are much obviously uh, one of the, um, they're much better with technology. So um, one of the um, spiritual um, teachers who first started writing about this uh, phenomena is Dolores Cannon, who did um, her own version of hypnotherapy for about 50 years. And she started noticing something that she wrote about, um, and she referred to them as volunteers. They weren't known as indigo and crystal ch children until much later, but she referred to them as volunteers and said there were three waves of volunteers. The first two waves later became known as indigo children, and the third wave later became known as crystal children. So the, the first two waves of, of, of indigos, the first wave was from the late 50s into the 60s, and these children were the trailblazers. Um, and it was very difficult for them to do so uh, for obvious reasons. They had to um, break down old structures um, of religion and spirituality and, and you know, various traditions. Um, they, they were very non-traditional um, types of people and they often were seen as being either very angry or very depressed. And um, also were, uh, had difficulty um, communicating. Um, a lot of the f f first wave um, volunteers either didn't speak at all or spoke very little as a child and even as an adult um, had difficulty and a lot of us are still around now have still have difficulty um, communicating. The second wave um, which are again re also referred to as indigos now, um, were born in the um, 70s and 80s. And although they were not trailblazers, they still had a somewhat difficult time um, because things 
obviously uh, the path had been cleared somewhat, but not entirely for them. And um, these children had um, also had a hard time adjusting to um, uh, the, the tr traditional ways. So they were often um, diagnosed with attention deficit disorder, hyperactivity, um, and with having learning disabilities and various type of um, communication issues, um, sometimes um, even having um, been somewhere on the autism spectrum. And then the third wave of volunteers who are now known as Crystal Children um, are very different. They're very good at communicating and connecting and are very happy and joyful and very affectionate, um, actually. So, um, and as, as time went by, more and more people started recognizing these waves of children being born and started noticing other characteristics. And one of the reasons why they got the name um, Indigo and Crystal is because the children being born from the late 50s um, through the 80s had the color Indigo in their aura, which before that time was a, a color that was very rarely seen in a person's aura. And this color tends to um, signify that that person um, has a higher spiritual vibration and is more intuitive, um, possibly a healer. And um, a clairvoyant, I don't know if I already said telepathic, um, those kinds of things. And then the children being born from the 90s on have an opalescent quality to their aura. So uh, um, it was more crystalline. It had uh, various colors such as white, pink, purple, and gold, which was very rare, um, or from what I read, um, it wasn't rare. It just, it just hadn't happened before. And so that's why they were called um, and are being called crystal children. And um, the rainbow children, I believe, have already been born um, and are more will come. And the crystal, the rainbow children actually have every color in their aura, and which is why they're being called the rainbow children. But um, so basically, um, th these children have come here to help with this transition. And um, even though they have different qualities, they're all here to do the same job. And their, um, just their very presence on the planet is changing everybody else's um, c consciousness and their level of spiritual vibration and upgrading their DNA. As I said earlier, um, our DNA has traditionally been carbon-based and is um, becoming um, a crystalline-based um, DNA. And so the crystal children were born with that DNA upgrade already, but just simply by their presence on this planet, they're helping everyone else's DNA to upgrade to this crystalline structure as well. And the indigo, the early indigos who were born in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, the crystal and rainbow children are helping them upgrade to even a, a crystal and rainbow um, level of um, vibration and development. And even f beyond that, whether a, even if a person was not born an indigo or a crystal at all, Again, their presence is helping all of us to upgrade our DNA and to have a higher um, spiritual vibration and um, to develop this form of unity consciousness, which will bring about more peace and harmony to our culture and our planet. So. Um, 
I just wanted to remind you that um, I have a 1-800 number that's on my Facebook page if you would like to call me. And um, please like or share my video and in the comment section if um, you have anything you would like for me to talk about in the future please let me know and um, I believe I my next video will be about the spring equinox and I look forward to seeing you then thank you